five, four, three, two, one. Time to work, soldiers. Hey guys, how's it going? Tracy once again, bringing you another random ghost commentary. My very last one with the AK-12 silencer and grip, I believe, on prison break. I end up going 52 for eight. This is my very first 52, well, 50 plus kill gameplay that I recorded. I did get another two, but I never recorded them. But yeah, so this is, I thought I'd keep this one to last. I did cut out some very boring bits as well. So this was originally like a 10 and a half minute gameplay, you know, from start to finish. But I cut out all the bullshit. So yeah, cut out the deaths and things like that. Rightio, on to the topic today, which I don't know, I don't really have a topic actually. It's more of just like, um, lately I've been thinking of investing in a gaming laptop. So. What I've been looking at is um, an Alienware. Yes, I know I've always bashed on Alienware a lot, but um, this one is secondhand, extremely cheap. It's an Alienware M14X R5. So R5 is the latest model at the moment with a GTX 765M. M stands for micro, which is actually um, when they build laptops. Laptops are completely different to PCs as they have. Um, you know, they may have the same card, say most of them run a, a GT740. The 740s don't exist at the moment, but I'm sure a video will bring them out eventually. I'm not sure if they even bother going back to the 40 series anymore. They may not. But so it's about equivalent to half to a third of the power of an actual full sized 40 that you would put in, you know, in your case, in your actual you know, personal computer. So you can't get full capacity out of it, like the 3D mark on the 765 is about 2100, but the, you know, the 3D mark for a 760 is around 6800 I believe, so you know of course the higher numbers the better, so yeah it's less than a, th less than a third worth of it, the actual full size equivalent of it, but you know it's a laptop. What are you going to do? You can't put these size things in there. I wish, you know, they could make a bulkier laptop and put these things in there, but they don't want to. You know, laptops for portability, convenience, and lightweight. And, you know, I just thought I would get a laptop just because, you know, if this computer ever fails, I, you know, I, I still want to do this. You know, so I say, I don't know, I blow the power supply. Like, um, lightning strike hits my house, surges through, and blows the power supply. It won't because I have a surge strike to the power board. This is all connected into. If you've ever had a high powered computer, you should definitely, definitely get a surge protected power board. It's it's the best. It may be worth like 200 bucks if you get a really, really decent one, but it's worth every cent, trust me. So, you know, like if this one ever failed, I've got that. If I want to, if I ever go away, like um, in November, I'm going to Queensland with my girlfriend for her mum's 50th birthday. And. Well, I want to have my laptop just to interact with you guys because of course on your phone the app's pretty fucked you know you can't do much with it and you know I want to be able to still watch videos and watching videos on like a bloody three inch if it's even that um, phone screen's absolutely ridiculous and the sound quality is shit so having a laptop would definitely help that so it's a nice backup system it's a nice second gaming system and say I just want to sit out in the lounge room and quickly reply to some emails or um or you know, just want to play some Minecraft or watch some YouTube videos, things like that. I can just do that from the comfort of the couch instead of having to come around into this office area here. You know, I don't ever have to leave my nice comfy couch. So yeah, so it'll be a really good thing to do. Oh, timeline lag there for a sec. I wasn't sure if it was recording or not, but thank God it is. My timeline is just very, very laggy. But this is recording. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get to the end because it's updating about every minute. Man, Tabby Hooby. But yeah, so anyway, guys, that's that's what my feeling is. You know, I've always bashed on laptops. I think they're a waste of, waste of money and time and this shit. But then I thought about it and thought, well, you know what? I really need something portable. Something that's going to, you know, my life with this laptop. Because if I have my life this, of this computer, because if I fuck this one up, you know, I'm just going to have that one as a side one. Like, it's got a 750 terabyte 72 rpm hard drive so that's going to be really good write speed um it's got an i7 4700 processor so you know it's still the equivalent of an 
i7 processor pretty much and um, I'm going to also put a, I think I'll go for a 120 gigabyte SSD and put Windows 8 on that. This does have Windows 8 which you know I've refused to use but everyone's telling me now that the 8.1 patch has come out it's a lot better like um, it's a lot more efficient things like that but um, you know I've never really tried it out. I tried it out for a minute on my girlfriend's laptop and absolutely hated it ever since but people have told me there's a lot more updates with it and it's a lot more user friendly so you know I'll believe them but yeah so I just thought I'd let you guys know that I'm getting a laptop if you want to see benchmarks from it when I do get it because hopefully I'll get it this week you know I can post them up sometime next week if you guys want to see that you know if you want me to do an unpack or a reveal of it or anything like that anything to do with the laptop I can definitely do that easy you know I can even do a comparison to, to draw what my rig can do and what this rig can do or what a third $1,200 rig because that's about what I got this one for second hand $1,200 rig laptop can do compared to a $1,200 PC rig yeah I can do little videos like that if you guys are ever interested because um, when I first thought of getting a laptop I know a lot of people go out and go out and just have a quick look and be like oh you know I like the look of this one I like the colour of that one that's it but no I researched every single gaming laptop was a, that I could find that was available on Gumtree and on eBay, researched if it should have them, researched getting them from the UK or the US cheaper. You know, I researched all of that. I researched different, like the best graphics card I could find. The best um, laptop graphic cards are actually made by AMD, which, um, you know, it doesn't really surprise me. They make some decent graphics cards, but their main problem is they have a higher temperature. They run a little bit hotter, so your system doesn't have complete airflow all the way around it I wouldn't recommend getting an AMD graphics card just for that simple reason like um, you don't want to overheat your system but you want your card to be working efficiently so you know as soon as it gets hotter you're going to lose all that texture feel that it has because it'll start shutting down certain elements of it to keep the heat down and um, it may also wreck your card in the long run so it's just sort of hell you don't want that but anyway guys I've been Trace I'm out just thought you guys would want to know that I'm getting a gaming laptop. So anyway guys, see ya. Have a good one.